Right now in the United States, it's one of the biggest nights of the year because it is Super Bowl 56, one of the biggest sporting events around the world. And this is American football. It's not the football that many people are used to where you kick the ball down the field into nets. This is the one where you throw the ball downfield, you tackle each other, it looks like you're pulling each other's pants down. There are goals, but they are really elevated and they look like little things like that come out of the ground. I'm not a sports person myself. Like many other people around the, the country, I watch for the commercials, but also I watch for the music because during the pre-show, there is the America the Beautiful as well as the National Anthem. And then during the halftime, there's the world famous halftime show. One of the biggest musical events of the year. There have been some truly amazing halftime shows such as Prince many years ago. And then there are some really bad halftime shows like Maroon 5. Last year, I made a video talking about my thoughts on the weekend's halftime show. And I figure I'll do the same thing again this year because I'm actually very excited for it because it's Dr. Dre, it's Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem, plus some surprises as they teased. I'm super excited for it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who is singing America the Beautiful and Star Spangled Banner, but this is my thoughts on the music of the halftime show plus real-time reactions. It's gonna be on my TV right there. I'm gonna turn the volume down really low to avoid copyright stuff, but let's get right into it. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this, how's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well and hope it continues to go well. Here are my thoughts about the Super Bowl music. I believe the fans are gonna win this game, but if I had to pick the team, I'll go with the Bengals, because I like Tigers. I've never heard of Janae Aiko before, so I am very curious to see how they sound. <laughs> they got a harp player. That is excellent. I'm all, always a fan of harp. I wish I could play it. So she sounds really good. It's really impressive, way better than <laughs> most people I know, including myself. Like, really good singer. I'm just not all that impressed. I believe last year it was her who did America the Beautiful, and that just blew me out of the water. And I'm not sure if that was just because her played guitar too, but I mean, this has a harp. It's it's cool because it has harp in it. Uh, overall, it, it was good. It was good. It wasn't that. It wasn't bad in any right. I just felt like it was all one level throughout the entire thing. It never went past another level. It was all flat, if that makes sense. There's no hills and valleys in the performance to get you really excited. With the voice of an angel, Mickey Guyton. Mickey Guyton, another artist who I've never heard of, and it was funny, because they cut to her when they were doing America the Beautiful. Choosing to do an acapella. Mad respect. That is difficult. Never mind, I see a piano player. Now I hear music. Oh, wow. I was not expecting the choir. Oh, my. Ooh, ooh key change. I actually have goosebumps from that. Yes, the chords at the end that Whitney Houston did. Just so good. So good. You know what? This was the best I've heard the National Anthem and the Super Bowl in years. I mean, as long as I could remember it. Last year, I remember being so unimpressed. This, I am blown away. The choir, her voice, phenomenal. I, that was so good. And of course, the top tier, at least for a lot of people, is Whitney Houston. But you know what? At least for me personally... I, I'm going to put it top five of national anthems. Then again, I need to go back and watch all the, remember the halftime shows way more than the national anthems because, well, the halftime shows this big extravagant experience that is supposed to, that is supposed to be memorable and national anthems falls to the wayside unless your name is Whitney Houston. But man, that was so good. So good. Really impressed by that. Man, I love that. 
And the second quarter is done, is now halftime. Now before the halftime show starts, I do want to give the little warning that I'm not a super fan of any of today's performers, especially the person who performed America the Beautiful and Star Spangled Banner. I don't, I've never heard of them before, I don't remember their names, and I just remember the person who did Star Spangled Banner was really good. As far as halftime goes, I've heard of all the performers. The only one who I can't say that I like is Mary J. Blige, only because I haven't listened to any of her music. As far as Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, and Eminem, I do like their music. I will listen to their music if it's on, I will jam out to it. I know Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg from listening to them in high school with a buddy who introduced me to their music. I went through a little Eminem phase like most people do, and I've listened to Kendrick Lamar through GTA 5, as well as my girlfriend and other people in college, so I'm very outside looking into this show. Like I, many, many younger generations of people, especially with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, but I was like that for the Weekends Halftime Show last year too, and I ended up really loving the Weekends Halftime Show. So. I'm very curious and very excited about this year's. So let's get into my reactions of it. Oh, now that's an opening. Awesome graphic with Dr. Dre at the mixing console. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> this is okay. That's actually great. They're going to do still DRE, aren't they? Because right now they're doing the next episode. <laughs> it's weird that they have to censor themselves. Like, I'm used to hearing this song with the swears. And <laughs> it's weird. Oh, they're doing California Love, dude! Tribute to Tupac! That's aw- uh, that's- that's great. That's great. I mean, this was Dre- this is Dre's part on California Love, but still, the Tupac tribute, that's great. That's great. Oh! It's 50 Cent! It's 50 Cent! Oh my! <laughs> Are, are they just doing people that Dre produced? Because that would be amazing. I mean, you got Eminem in there. You got Snoop Dogg in there. That's... That's amazing. This is actually really good. It's weird seeing all these dancers, knowing that I saw that they ask people to just come dance for free. Still good. I assume this is Mary J. Blige, only because I don't know who this is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is Mary J. Blige. Now that I hear her sing this song, I know who this is now. I just never put a name with the song. It's been forever since I heard the song. Much like 50 S in the club. She's a good singer. She is a good singer. I wish I knew more of her music. I might have to go listen to more of her music after this. Which is really the point of the halftime show. It gets them more album sales, more streams. They don't get paid for it. They, it's, they get paid in the fact that people look them up after the show is done. And they just get an insane boost in streams, album sales, and all that. She's, she is really good. She is really good. I, I really dug that. Oh, it's Kendrick Lamar time. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. The, oh, this, the, the, them in the boxes with Dre Day. That's super cool. Kendrick is so good. Kendrick is so good. Oh, they're doing Forgot About Dre now? Elise has been teased. And here's Eminem. <laughs> and now they're going into lose yourself. Of course they're going. Of course they're going to do lose yourself. It's such a big meme. Mom spaghetti. Of course. Is wait is that Anderson Pack? Was that Anderson Pack? Was that Ander? It's Anderson Pack. It's Anderson Pack and Eminem. I mean, I'm not surprised. They were on the same album together. I was not expecting Anderson Pack. I love Anderson Pack. 
Man, I am happy for these guys, like, getting to perform. I'm super happy for Ares and Pac, too. That means both members of Silk Sonic have performed at the Super Bowl. I'm happy about that. And still DRE, of course. That was such a great halftime. Such a great halftime show. Man, that, I think personally, that is in the top three for me. Like, man, I am super, super happy with that. That is absolutely amazing. And now they're doing a closing shot of Dr. Dre on the top of the stadium. Man. What a halftime show. That, mind blown, absolutely amazing. The fact, like, I'm happy that, I'm, ju I'm just so happy for them. Like, man, they did, I was, I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting Kendrick Lamar to do Humble or, or, or Drink. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest, uh, the two people who I knew, whose songs I didn't know, was the, main song Kendrick did. I knew the opening song he did. I don't remember the name of it. Mary J. Blige's song I've heard, but I don't know the names of. That, of the Matt Dre's set, Eminem, uh, Snoop Dogg. I, oh, I'm surprised Snoop Dogg didn't do Gin and Juice. I was surprised Snoop Dogg didn't do one of his own songs. I was really surprised by that fact. But beside, but that's besides the point. Overall, that was an amazing halftime show. Again, top three. Like Prince is always going to be number one because I'm a huge Prince fan. Number two was the weekends from last year because it was it told a whole story and it was amazing. And this so good. We've had two great years of halftime shows in a row after ye well at least a year of. A bad one because I don't remember what came before uh, Mar Maroon 5 in Travis Scott. I don't know if it was Lady Gaga or Katy Perry. I remember their shows being good. I don't know if it was Justin Timberlake. I remember his show being good too and paying tribute to Prince, but they weren't that amazing to me. But this, man, so good. So good. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on it. Like I said, I, I I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And I'm very curious to see your opinions. Uh, remember, music is subjective, so don't bash each other. Don't bash the artists. But, man, so good. So good. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye and good night. More importantly, have a good day, and I'll see you later.